Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Another week, another video, another little thing. Taking a little iron out. I have uh, nothing exciting going on. It's just a dentist appointment. <laughs> but I thought, bloody hell, I might as well make an event of it. And um, I'll make a little video. I'll show you my old digs in the city. We can take, uh, we'll go for a ride around the block, around the base. So, uh, is it still recording? Yeah. We will go around the base, around Wellington, um, show you my old places where I used to hang out. Um, but that's not perfect. It's a bit overcast. Everywhere. There is a sunshine somewhere, but not in the city. Uh, but yeah, I'll get my teeth looked at and then we'll go riding. I'll do some shopping and uh, that's the excursion to the city. So, uh, yeah, is, I'm not rushing particularly. There is a bit of a walkways around here, around the summit. And uh, uh, this is uh, the road down. Last week it was so busy, busy, busy everywhere. Today is uh, moderate. It's not too bad. So I'm just chilling. Truck's always gonna be here, so that's fine. Uh, all right. Well, let's uh, let's see. Get these little nubbins looked at, and um, then we'll go riding around uh, around the base of Wellington. That'll be pretty cool. Watch out. See you on the road. Are you ready? So, uh, dentist done. Little biters are fine. Um, so, I'm, uh, the weather seems to be pretty good. Nice and sunny here in the city. So, um, I'll uh, show you around some um, cool places around here. We have a bit of time, so instead of rushing home, um, let's just go up the hill and uh, show you some viewpoints and then we'll go down to the coast to have a look around. So, um, should be fun. Do -do 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 -do. Matching color. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's ride. All right, all right. So we are in a Brooklyn Hill. I used to come and run up here in the hills. Uh, lots of treks, lots of mountain bike treks, lots of running treks. Living in Wellington was freaking awesome for outdoors, for running, for mountain biking, for everything. As you see down there, the city is right down there and all around is just hills as far as you can see them. I used to um, I used to live it out in Brooklyn, we passed through there, uh, run up here, and then uh, run all the way along the ridges, up, up that hill, and then uh, down to the coast. And uh, man, you, could, you run for about 15 minutes between the houses, and then uh, you're in the middle of nowhere for four hours. It was, you know, it's amazing. Then the tricks are really nice, kind of well trodden, well looked after. So where I live, the tricks are much rougher. It's a proper uh, tramping terrain so that kind of sucks and you can't run you have to look after your feet much more than here you enjoy running here um, 
We might see if we can go uh, into that hill. It's a... Uh, that one. Right there. That's uh, Mount Victoria lookout. It gives us a bit of a view of the city. But we are going to come back and then drive all the way down to the coast and follow the coastline around the block and then come back through there. Yeah, so this is Brooklyn Hill. That is obviously the bloody thing. Uh, turbine. And uh, yeah, I might wonder over there we might be able to see the city from there. Um, so yeah, this is Brooklyn Hill. We used to live in that place over there. Uh, so cool. Walking down the memory lane, right here. Alrighty, so we are on the Mount Victoria peak. When we uh, rode over on the other side, I'll zoom in. It's right there. There is Brooklyn, Brooklyn Hill with the windmill where we were in the morning. And now we are here. We'll go up to the viewpoint over there. Just wanted to, uh, yeah been riding around the base and around here and seeing all the people exercising and cycling and doing stuff I'm so envious and jealous that's the one thing I miss about uh, living in the city that uh, this mountain this hill we are on this is a crazy massive mountain by park and you live just down there you know so all of those hills everything is accessible for your outdoor pursuits and hiking, mountain biking, cycling, running, and right down there is your international airport. So, as cities go, Wellington was a freaking cool place to live um, for outdoors, for lifestyle. Yeah, I miss that. If if the houses didn't cost freaking arm and leg and a kidney and a couple other organs thrown in there. We would probably stay here, who knows? But um, we moved on the other side of the hill about an hour from here because the houses were so much cheaper. Even 10 years ago, the houses were going here for a million or something, I don't know, more. And there were half of them do wrappers. So yeah, yeah, miss, miss the hills, miss running, miss enjoying the outside. And also we were in a flat, so we didn't really have much to do. We're with the house and garage and bikes. I have, I'm much more occupied with that, so ah, it's probably a balance, eh? Should come for a little staycation with all the training gear, have a weekend of exercising and then go home. <laughs> but I just missed getting out of the apartment and freaking running for four hours and seeing not a single person, you know? That was cool. That was cool. city center is a couple square kilometers, four square kilometers almost. You can get from one end to another within 20 minutes, so yeah, when you come here you definitely miss it. When I'm on the other side I don't miss the city. I don't miss the people, I don't miss the buildings, but I miss the nature. Let's 
go. Oh shit! Oh, not this one. Oh, got them mistaken. <laughs> okay, this is mine. Oh, I just wanted to show you the park. We were here. We rode over up here and parked there. Then we have a little lookout, and this is all the tracks, all the hill you can ride. And you have a Manvik suburb, and the whole city is just here. So you have this playground right here with a bunch of tracks. And I used to run here just to have fun, just go every single track. And that was pretty cool. I also should stop talking about it. I'm like, fucking pussy. Toughen up, boy. You do your choices. We have bikes these days. No running. Come on. Change Lycra for leathers. <laughs> It was a it was a nice walk down memory lane about living in Wellington. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. It's a bit boring just going by myself, but at least the scenery hopefully was quite nice and uh, enjoyable. Um, yeah, there is my little irons running like a dream. Knock on the wood. He's all right. Did some shopping. <laughs> Bags full. So uh, yeah, that was a nice little John D. Even if it's a bit of a cold, my hands are almost freezing, but that's all right. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll keep you posted about new things. Keep pressing the buttons and saying g'day wherever you're from. Uh, Western, Western, Northern Hemisphere has a summer coming. So uh, where are you guys from? Where do you ride? What's your favorite places to ride? I have a dream to ride the Karakoram Highway up over in Kazakhstan. Maybe, maybe one day in the future. I don't know what future brings, but uh, in my lifetime I would love to go that road. That would be pretty cool. What's your dream? What's your... Uh, what are your roads? What are the, what are the places you want to go? I don't know. <laughs> we don't have to write anything. I'm just mumbling. I need to go uh, food prepping for the week, so I'm stalling. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>